with so many stand bags on the market, it can be hard to find the right one for your game. So here at Golf Monthly, we've tested what we think are eight of the best stand bags for 2023 to help you decide. I've got five here with me today. So from your left to right, we've got the Titleist Players 5 Stay Dry, Ping Hoofa, the Wilson Exolite, OGO All Elements, and Big Max Dry Light Hybrid. We've got three others to chat about today, the TaylorMade FlexTech, the Callaway Fairway CHD, and the Sun Mountain Ecolite 14 Way as well. I'm gonna split this video up into three sections, starting with styling, they're gonna move on to the features of each bag, and then ease of use. And finally, stick around for my conclusion, we're gonna crown my favorite stand bag of 2023. Okay, let's start with our first category and that is styling. Now, I appreciate this is totally subjective and your opinion might differ to mine, but I'm going to point out a few key styling pieces I think are great on these bags in front of me. Uh, firstly, if you play a certain set of clubs or have a, a preference for a certain brand, you might want to go down that line. So if you've got a bunch of Titleist clubs, you might go for the Titleist bag. Same with Ping. Uh, I think whatever brand you prefer, you're going to get a great stand bag from any of the brands out there. So that's important to note firstly. But let's talk about some key styling features from these bags. I think the Titleist Players 5 Stay Dry is a classic looking bag. It always has. They've improved it slightly for 2023. I think it's black and red colorway. It looks fantastic as well. Um, and then we've got to take a look at the OGO over here. Um, some really bold colorways coming from OGO in 2023. This is actually one of the more subtle ones, this sort of black and white space effect. Uh, but I think they've really nailed it with colors this year. If you want to go for something a little bit bolder, if we look at the tailor-made FlexTech bag, the one we've got in red that we'll flash some pictures up of now, again, great to match if you've got the stealth driver in your bag or you've got other red head covers, something like that. It really is really subjective when it comes to, to styling. So as I said, totally subjective. Those are a couple of my opinions on why some of these bags look fantastic. I've got to crown a winner for this section though, and it has to be the OGO bag. I think these look fantastic. Check out the rest of their colorways of 2023 because I think they look really, really awesome. Okay, let's move on to talk about the features of these golf bags. Now, it's firstly important to say they're all feature packed and I'm nitpicking here between the differences. Uh, we'll start with the uh, dividers. Now, most of these come with a four or five way top. And I've noticed brands recently really working hard on avoiding club crowding in bags like this. And the five way tops in the Ping Hu from the Titleist are fantastic. And this four way top in the Wilson Exo Light. I've carried 14 clubs in this uh, really comfortably and not had any club crowding situations. So no need to worry about that in these sort of bags. Uh, we've got a really unique uh, dividing system here from Ojo. This eight way divider, which has four slots down the side and four through the middle. Uh, it might divide opinion. Uh, go check out for yourself. It's a bit different. But again, no club crowding in a bag like this because of the way they've sorted that out. And then finally, we've got 14-way dividers in the Big Max and the Sun Mountain. Again, one that really divides opinion, but if you like a separate slot for each of your clubs, there are options there in, in pretty compact stand bags at that. Uh, so those are the dividers. And now we've got to talk about pockets. Now they come anywhere between sort of five or six pockets all the way up to about 11. Again, I probably felt the Wilson was a, a pocket light, um, whereas the bags like the OGO, the Titleist, have got absolutely plenty. Uh, now, I'm a sucker for a magnetic pocket and uh, the, the Wilson Exo Light and the Ping Hoofer. I've got two brilliant magnetic pockets uh, for your range finders. They're really convenient, but more than anything, it adds to the really premium feel of the bag, I think, when you've got a, a magnetic pocket that opens and shuts like that. So as well as this, all of the eight bags featured in this video have got uh, valuables pockets. Often, even in non-waterproof bags, I'll pick the Wilson out again here, these are waterproof. You can see it's seam sealed there. Um, so that's really impressive. So even if you've got a waterproof bag, your valuables will be safe. Often these pockets are lined with velour or some sort of fleece. Again, stops your phone scratching, uh, really nice touches. Again, all of those brands have that. Uh, a great feature in the Big Macs and the TaylorMade Flex Deck is how versatile they are. Now they use a base that allows that to easily be attached to a golf cart, a push cart or electric one, or a buggy as well. So if you tend to carry and use uh, a trolley as well, I would recommend something like that. I love how they've added that versatility to it. And finally on features, there is no excuse anymore for stand bags to not feature a leg strap that allows you to keep the legs in place. Having a leg strap when you're loading it into your car or if you're traveling with the clubs is really important so they don't kick out and accidentally get snapped. Now, all of them have it apart from the ping. So that was a bit of a bugbear for me that they haven't added that yet. I'm sure they will potentially on a later version. So loads of features from all of these bags, depending on what you prioritize. I've got to give a winner though, and that is absolutely the Big Macs 
loads of pockets, uh, great cooler pocket, uh, that versatility between, between carry and between cart. And you know what, that 14 way divider, it's all right. It divides opinion, but I'll dig it. Uh, so the Big Max dry light, top for features. Okay, third and finally, and probably the most important category when it comes to picking the right stand bag for you is ease of use. So I'm gonna be chatting about how comfortable these are to carry, uh, how good the straps are, how lightweight they are, and generally what they like to carry around the golf course. Uh, now there's two really lightweight stand bags I've picked in our top eight, which is the Wilson Co Light, which is about five pounds without any clubs in, and the Callaway Fairway CHD is only four and a half pounds. So these are super, super lightweight bags that even when you load all your golf clubs and accessories in, they're still really lightweight to carry. Uh, so I like those two if you like a, a lightweight option. Now, if you want a bigger option that's still really comfortable to carry, I've got to say the Ojo and the Big Max have really excelled at that. You can see that they're slightly larger bags. They come in at about six pounds, maybe a little bit heavier. Uh, but because of the straps on there and the hip pads on both of them, they're really, really comfortable to carry. So if you want a bigger one, absolutely fine. And the lightweight ones are excellent as well. So it's important we chat about the straps as well. Um, got to say the Ping and the Wilson, real highlights for this. They're almost self-adjusting in so much as they distribute the weight pretty evenly over your shoulders by themselves. So really, really like that. But the Big Max and the Ojo, the TaylorMade, the Callaway, got great padding on there. And I've got to give a shout out to Titus. I really think they've stepped up the quality of their strap and the amount of padding on there. Don't neglect the hip pad either. So that's the bit that sort of bounces against your back. Some have better ones than others. The Wilson's a bit better than the Ping, for example. Um, so bear that in mind as well, alongside straps. And last but not least, we've got to talk about waterproofing. Now bags like the Players 5 Stay Dry, fully waterproof, the rest sort of water resistant. Now this is entirely dependent on the conditions you play in. If they're changeable, get yourself a fully waterproof bag. You'll feel the benefits of it. If not, you'll get away with these bags that are sort of water resistant with that fully waterproof valuables pocket. So one to bear in mind as well. Uh, so for ease of use then, which one I'm gonna pick as my champion? Again, all very, very good. I'm nitpicking here as to which one I like the most, but for that magnetic range finder pocket and that self-adjusting strap, I'm gonna give it to the Ping Hoofer. Okay, so there you have it. My opinion on what I think are the best eight stand bags of 2023. I really think if you go for any of these bags and the three, the TaylorMade FlexTech, the Callaway and the Sun Mountain, you're not going to go wrong either way. But I have to crown a champion, of course. And even though it didn't win any of the outright categories, an absolute all-rounder and my best stand bag for 2023 is the Titleist Players 5 Stay Dry. I think it looks fantastic and sleek. Love the work done on the strap and it just hits all of those points. Waterproof proofing, pockets, strap, ease of use. It's a fantastic golf bag. I really, really enjoyed testing it. But I'd love to hear what you think. Which of these bags is your favorite? Or is there one I've missed out? Please let me know down in the comments. Uh, but for now, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.